some general techniques that we'll have for people with primary or secondary disc affliction would be three-dimensional axial separation. We can do this in two different positions, whether they're a flexion responder or an extension responder. Prefer preferably extension because extension would be the most functional position. Um, in order to extend the lumbar spine, I'm gonna have Mark bring his bottom leg into extension, thereby extending through the lumbar. I'll next hook the leg just inferior to the popliteal space. I'll place my top hand on the greater trochanter. Now I'm gonna induce a side flexion, slight rotational mobilization. So this would be caudal, slightly medial and ventral. I can then bias this into further rotation by pulling the cranial aspect of the spine into right rotation. So he's in extension. We know with extension, the lumbar spine couples contralaterally. So he's in left side blend, right rotation in extension. Of importance is to keep the sacrum in a vertical position. The patient will have a tendency to want to move forward, moving into rotation. But I wanna keep the sacrum in a vertical orientation so I'm not pushing the femur into the table. With the mobilization, we'll hold for 60 seconds, and I'll repeat this six times. 